Now there's a sight I love to see every spring. The open water. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. <laughs> I've told you folks a few times over the years, we generally will always get our last snow right around the middle of April, sometimes the third week of April. It was an odd year this year, let me tell you. We haven't seen snow probably for almost a month. Had very little snow in March, which was unseasonal. And we've had really warm temperatures for the last month and a half until last night. I kid you not, after wearing a t-shirt for about a week and a half, I was sitting at the uh, front window last night. We had snow, big, fat, fluffy snowflakes for about five hours last night. Just came out of nowhere. It was on no forecast for any of the weather services that I subscribe to up here. Just came out of nowhere and stayed around for the evening. There you go. <laughs> Those are my friends. He's honking up a storm because I'm getting too close to the nest. I mentioned to you folks, I'm pretty lucky. Every spring, the geese nest right in there behind those balsam trees. And then probably another week or so, maybe two, we'll see a bunch of little goslings swimming across the front of the property and coming up to eat. It's pretty cool, my daughters love it. Today, as I mentioned to you, I've got a number of piles of rocks that I've put in places over the years and I want to clean them up, get them over to the rock wall. I might chip up those branches, move some others. And if I'm lucky tonight, I'm going to get that burn pile taken care of. They finally lifted the ban after over a year. It's about time. It's been a long year. So let's go warm up the tractor and we'll get at it. It's just going to be a relaxing day. Nothing too spectacular, just chores. Hope you'll stick around. Cheers. I got some really good advice from my neighbor Guy years ago, and he was right. It's worked out very well. After you pick up that tractor and you start maintaining the property and doing different things around the property, you start to find whether you're moving brush or twigs or dead branches, rocks, you know, digging gravel, whatever it is you're doing, when you pick it up with the bucket or with the grapple, you need to put it somewhere. And so it makes good sense to kind of think about where you want to start piling things on the property or what you want to do with those rocks or those logs or that brush. So I did. I've got a nice, clear, safe spot here in this clearing for my burn pile. And I got a great idea for one of my subscribers to start building a rock wall right along the edge of the forest here. It turned out really nice. Plus it gives me a place to put all those boulders. I've got a place where I put all the branches I want to chip versus the ones I want to burn and a place to pile things that I plan on taking to the dump. And although there's nothing here right now, this is kind of the area where I'll drop logs if I'm not bucking them up the same day or if I'm finding anything in the woods that I want to keep for firewood. I drop them here. Nice clear opening, easy to get the tractor and the trailer in and out, and easy to split here as well. If you don't take some time to look around the property and pick some kind of long-term spots where you want to put things that you're clearing at your land or when you're doing cleanup, you end up with this. You know, piles of rocks here and there, piles of debris over here, bit of a mess because as you work with the tractor, you've got to do something with the stuff you're digging out of the ground or you're moving around on the ground.
when you're rolling into this big pile of rocks, you're gonna find that that big grapple is grabbing more than one at a time. Pick your target, use the grapple carefully and slowly and try to tease it around until you get it into a position you can grab it. Remember, when you extend that grapple out or that cylinder, or you push the grapple forward with your curl cylinders, don't ever fully extend and start doing work because those loader cylinders or those curl cylinders are carrying all of the impact of any energy or hits. You also want to make sure that you're never taking the grapple and dragging backwards on something that's intransigent or stationary, like a stump. Another big important consideration to be mindful of, when you're lifting heavy things, whether it's rocks or logs, watch your front wheels. If you start to see the rubber starting to pancake too much under the rim, meaning you've got a really heavy load on that front axle, you may want to drop it, cut the log in half, or chain the rock and pull it. When she starts to pancake too much, even though the tractor's able to lift it, you stand a high risk that you're going to unseat the bead on this tire. she's heavy one nice thing about these Kubotas if you try to lift something that's too heavy for the loader or for the tractor it just doesn't lift it you could tell I'm not sure mechanically what they call it but it's some kind of a relief valve system the loader and the tractor are set for a certain capacity if you attempt to lift something larger or heavier than the tractor is designed to carry you can pull on that stick all you want the loader arms will just sit there A few folks have asked me over the years why I've got a couple of bent tines. Hopefully today's video answers the question. I don't baby my equipment.
Well, that's part of the job done. Jeez, it had to be 10 years ago I had somebody move those boulders. I forgot just how big some of them were, but they're going to look really nice around that fire pit. I'm glad I started digging this stuff out today. One thing about this 2610 though, it's really hard to see the bottom of the grapple tines. On the old B2601, the hood was a little lower and it was sloped, so you could see where the tines were a lot better. So I found today I had to kind of almost go by feel trying to grab the rocks because I couldn't see in the middle. But I got them. I'm going to head over, finish up the job today. They're all smaller boulders and rocks. Probably not much for you to see, but I'll, I'll get her done on my own time today. Thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed seeing the tractor and the grapple at work. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to post the videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another. I'll see you right here on the next one on GP Outdoors. Cheers.